Good afternoon everyone, Jolene Van Helsing here. So I just took a little break from my worshiping the sun, coming and make a little video. I'm sure you guys are all doing the same wonderful things, all my friends here in North America, enjoying your beautiful summer. Um, and I guess to all of you on the other side of the world, I hope you're having a beautiful winter day as well. But it's been absolutely gorgeous here and I can see not a lot of people are on social media. Not a lot of people want to know this, <laughs> especially here um, in Alberta. We've been ripped off our last two summers. Two summers ago we had a lot of smoke that came over the mountains from British Columbia that from all the forest fires and stuff there. And then last summer, we really were just ripped off completely. I think we had seven nice days where we went out and suntanned and loving the sun. I take full advantage of that. Like I have even talked to with you guys before about taking my work outside and I'm actually doing that today. I'm doing some finishing touches on a book that I'm gonna tell you guys about soon. So, Super excited and I thought, well, what little tidbit, anyway, could I give you guys today that would be awesome? So, I thought, well, I'm having a bit of a fruit fly problem in my house that I've had to deal with. And I mean, it does happen a lot because of kids, but this time of year or two, it's super easy to get fruit flies that come about. So, I just took this little plastic cup from some grapefruit that I had, but you know, like a yogurt cup or anything you could use and then put some stuff in here. This is one of the traps that I made. Um, it has just grapefruit in it, a little bit of grapefruit that I just left in the cup after I was done eating it, but I just threw one in the garbage a little bit ago, <laughs> which was, it was super gross. I pretty much collected all of the fruit flies, but I smashed up some blueberries and a bit of orange together and did that. So then I put a sheet of saran wrap over top. I don't know if you can see those disgusting little buggers in there, but it's gross. So I put a sheet of saran wrap over top and then a little elastic band around here. And then I took a little mini screwdriver and just poked into the plastic a few times. So, and they can crawl in there and can't fly out. I've had a couple escape very rare that they can escape out of there, but it is the perfect little trap to get rid of them in your house. And I've pretty much got rid of them all with that first run I was telling you about that I threw in the garbage. Yeah, I, t I, took th I took this cup after the same thing that I had designed and then double knotted it and wrapped it all up in an old grocery bag so I was sure they weren't gonna ever get out of there. So, plus I shook them all up in there and they were all wet and the juices and you know, that probably didn't do them any favors. So. Anyway, there's a perfect little flute pride, flute, <laughs> I'll try that again. Perfect little fruit fly trap. You guys should try saying that. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister. So. Anybody notice I'm wearing lipstick? Yeah, I actually put this on like yesterday <laughs> and it was still on today. I did do a little touch up, but I've been in the swimming pool like 10 times today and it's not going anywhere. It doesn't come off on my cup. It's like nothing. Like, you know, I brush my teeth a couple times and nothing, nothing's coming off. So it's definitely like a makeup remover type thing that will take the lipstick off over time. But anyway, I'm gonna tell you guys about that too because I think it's so awesome. I'm gonna include it in the description. So, there you go. Little fruit fly trap and extra bonus for amazing lipstick. Have a wonderful summer day. And I would love to hear from you guys what you're doing on this beautiful summer day or what you love to do in summer and maybe you can't do right now. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.